Welcome. Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 21st of November. And I'm going to focus in on early trade on Wednesday around the Kiwi dollar. It's the central bank's decision on interest rates for the New Zealand economy. This is the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. And economists are suggesting that it will raise rates by a margin of 75 basis points. Now, the Kiwi Central Bank was relatively late in getting going on interest rate rises. And uh, the economy had been booming. Inflation is to some degree racing away. Uh, we got 7.2% current CPI, annual CPI, which is well above the target rate of between 1% and 3% that the New Zealand Central Bank has set itself. Uh, but the uh, housing market is one area of concern that's really now coming about. We've got interest rates at 2%. Now, if 75 basis points is added to that, it will then be 2.75%. But the New Zealand house price index has just recently seen its largest drop in 30 years. Uh, and sales activity was particularly soft, according to this report, uh, fueling expectations that prices might fall further than many economists had previously forecast. Now, if this comes uh, to pass, could it be that some of the voting members on the New Zealand uh, Central Bank might come to think that perhaps maybe 75 basis points might be too much? Let's take a look at where we are in terms of the move on the Kiwi dollar. This is the Kiwi trading against the Aussie, first of all. I want to show you this because we have in the last couple of hours or so, as we close out uh, the week, prior week to the interest rate decision, you can see that we've got a trade above this previous line of resistance at 91.89. It was only set just a week or so ago. But nonetheless, it takes us to levels not seen since the 27th of April this year in terms of strength for the New Zealand dollar against the Australian dollar. Now, uh, if we have 75 basis points, this is what the markets are now pricing in. Uh, if we only get something like 50 basis points, we could well then see a uh, retracement here uh, down for the New Zealand dollar. Now, as much as I would like to suggest a trade to put on, I think it's too early uh, even to begin to think about where this is going to go. The only thing I'd say is I think that perhaps maybe this is an event this week where we could well see uh, some interesting moves. This is the New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. And you can see I've drawn a Fibonacci on here from the highs that we had back on the 12th of August down to the swing low on the 13th of October down at 55.12. Since then, we've seen a rebound and we've got a little bit of a hesitation occurring in this area of resistance between 61.03 and 62.42, which is a 76.4% retracement. Now, if we do get 75 basis points, this is pretty much what the market's expecting. We could well see uh, maybe nothing in terms of a trade out of this. But if we only see 50 basis points and there's evidence that other areas of the economy are beginning to slow, and beginning to be painful for people. If we do only get 50 basis points this time around, we could well end up seeing some of this move that we've seen recently uh, retraced. Now, if you do go into this meeting uh, with a short position in place uh, for the Kiwi against the US dollar, I put my stop above the 200 day moving average at around about the 63.25 level, 63 and a quarter. And so far as a short trade around here is concerned, and I'd be more cautious about this if we get a candle close beyond this line of resistance today as we go into next week. Uh, but if you want to put a, um, a, a stop loss here on a short trade, uh, you'd be putting it something uh, to around about the 20, uh, 92, 50 level uh, would be a good place to your stop if you were to go short on the Kiwi against the Aussie. But in as much as the decision is due on Wednesday, and of course, at this stage, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. But if the risks are on the downside, we could well end up getting a weaker Kiwi out of this come Wednesday.